So they arrested the Idaho suspect. Now what? I'm going to answer some questions I got on my live yesterday and maybe give you some insight on what you're seeing. I'll say up front, I'm an outsider looking in just like you. I don't know what's going on. They made the lockup like at 3 in the morning. He qualified for a SWAT team. When you're filling out a search warrant, you have to do everything on a matrix. Basically, you have to answer some questions on how dangerous your suspect is. He asked the question, did you arrest anyone else? That's either a spontaneous utterance, which is admissible in court, or he wants to know how caught he is. Before, with the FBI involved, think accountants, not cowboys. With the whole world watching and all the dedicated resources, they're not going to slip up. There's a mountain of DNA evidence. He's so caught. With him getting a PhD in criminology, I don't think he's a dummy. They stopped the cleanup crew at the house. That's very telling. What that may mean is he's being cooperative. He's got to know he's looking at the death penalty. If I'm the lead detective, that's what I start out with. If you help us bring closure to the case, bring closure to the family, we'll take the death penalty off the table. Then I'd have him on video camera walking me through the house and showing me step by step what he did. Is there a possibility there's more than one killer? Highly unlikely. And if there was, there would have been two simultaneous arrest warrants or none at all. Not that anything reflects that there was another person, but you don't do this kind of crime with two people. Somebody snitches. The suspect has guaranteed rights. The state of Idaho has to extradite the suspect. That takes a hearing. Now, if he waives that hearing, that's gonna tell us a lot. If he has the hearing, which would be unusual, he's gonna fight it all the way. I don't care about him, but pay attention to his clothing. He's wearing what I would call a bunny suit. He's either made a threat to hurt himself or the officers are taking no chances you will show up in court. You may have listened to this audio. A high school friend of his said this sounds just like him. In that audio, he's putting out the same questions he put out in a Reddit post. That was for sure him. Like, if you were gonna do it, how would you do it? How did it make you feel? That kind of thing. I've been told he's been participating in a Facebook group about this. If all those things are true, that changes how I interview him. It's gonna sound bizarre, but you start out complimenting his work because he wants to be caught. He wants credit. And your role as the detective is to be the dumbest detective in the world. You want him to explain everything. I'm predicting they make the plea deal and he cooperates and gets life. Or they may have so much evidence they don't care. It's hard to weigh when politics and media attention get involved. Everybody wants to look good. I think the extradition hearing will tell the tale on how this is gonna go. There's zero chance this guy walks. Now it's just up to the prosecution not to violate his rights. And it looks like they're on the ball and they're going to stay the course. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong.